from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of early mornings LA Late with great incredible news about your fourth stimulus check of 2021. In today's recording, we go over the breaking developing details why legislators have made it very emphatically clear there's going to be multiple stimulus checks, monthly stimulus checks, and they may not wait all the way to July to call the vote. I have all the breaking developing details from that letter that was written on Friday, the president's message also on Friday, and that incredible statement from Jalapal in that letter, and all the legislators who have come forward and say, stop waiting, we're going to do it right now. Great details in this fourth stimulus check update of 2021 this Sunday morning. Then we get to the exciting details of our fifth stimulus in the fall that starts in September with an SSI and SSDI, re SSDI reform that will lift up your benefits, especially if you're on veterans benefits and also SSA, and then add a new benchmark. That benchmark could change your life forever. And in the middle of this recording, we go over the big money available for you across the land, some of it landing today or tomorrow in your mailbox or your direct deposit account. It's a big morning with incredible great news. I'm excited you're here. Let's get to it. This is Early Mornings LOA. It's early mornings, LA. I hope your Sunday morning morning is beautiful. How is the weather where you are? It's currently sunny, breezy. The nice wind came in here in Santa Monica and Los Angeles. Beautiful wind this morning. So how is the weather where you are? Drop in the comments. I'd love to hear where you're watching and what the weather is currently there. This is early mornings, LA. With your four stimulus check update of 2021, big exciting news, not one two, but three major developing details about that four stimulus check, that monthly stimulus check covered in this recording. I have all those details for you, so stay with me. Then in the second half of this recording, we go over fifth stimulus that will raise your benefits if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, and veterans benefits up to a big new number and then add a benchmark, and there's breaking news about that as well. Then in the middle of this recording, we go over the big money available for you, a cry, exciting great news across the land because some of it is landing today or tomorrow across the board. What a big morning it is. This is Early Mornings L8, and I want you to subscribe. This is L8, the only 24 hours a day, seven days a week financial news channel. From Wall Street to Main Street, morning shows are live, evening, afternoon shows are taped, and currently airing at the same time of the show is our overnight live feed on crypto. So join that show after you're finished watching this one. That show blew out the numbers yesterday. Absolutely one of the most watched shows ever. And it ran for 12 hours. So jump into that show right after this. Meantime, subscribe. I want you part of this family. 400,000 subscribers off to 1 million. Like this video and consider becoming a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Let's get right to that fourth stimulus. It's a monthly stimulus package check where the check lands every month and consecutive months thereafter. And there's two proposals. The House proposal is written by a person named Jalapal. And I want you to remember that name because we're going to jump into the details of Jalapal's bill right now. And you're going to hear that name later in this recording. So Jalapal's House proposal provides stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. The Senate proposal, in contrast, provides a stimulus check for July, continuing till December. And while the House of Progressives, the Senators are more moderates, the House proposal is $1,000 a month after the first month. The Senate proposal, the amount is unknown, but word on the street is it's this. Oh, boy, yes. So the Senate proposal uh, potentially, word on the street is $2,000 a month over six months, $12,000, or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400. That is per individual. Now, let's circle back to what Jalapal put in there. And Jalapal talked, talks about, in the, in, the, in the bill, stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. If you're watching the show live uh, in the premiere at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 o'clock on the East Coast, jump into the live chat and vote House or Senate, but not just yet. I want to hear your input first on what I'm about to reveal. So Jalapal's bill is pandemic plus one year. So if the pandemic is four more months, then four months plus one year, 16 months of stimulus checks. 
but many believe that the pandemic will be legislatively over by the time they call the vote, if it happens in July. And by that account, then the House proposal, the House, the Jalapal bill, would only provide 12 months of stimulus checks, $13,000, which $13,000 comes in over 12 months for Jalapal at nearly the same amount as the Senate proposal in half the time. So now jump in the live chat and vote House or Senate. I think you're going to say Senate. Vote House or Senate. You see how they're slightly the same amount, just different routing times. All right, let's go over the other incredible great details that you need to know about the fourth stimulus check, monthly stimulus check. First, when would it start? July, in the month of July, and continuing month after month thereafter. There is no waves of stimulus checks. They can't do waves where a check arrives at a different time of the month for a different person. No, it's a monthly check. So July would arrive in July and August and August and September and September. Who gets it? You do. If you got the third stimulus check, you get the fourth stimulus check. So if you uh, make less than 75000 an individual, you get the fourth stimulus check. Married couple, 150000 or less, you get the fourth stimulus check. And if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, you get the fourth stimulus check. Household four or less, you get the stimulus check. But a household of six, you don't all get it. Well, it's up to a household of four. Married couple, 150000 or less, you would double the fourth stimulus check. And how much is the amount? Is it different for different people? No. So the stimulus check would be the same for everyone, including adult dependents and minor dependents. All incredible, great news. Now, is it taxable? Nope, not taxable. It's not income. Is it taken out for child support? We don't know anything about that. But remember, I'm just a reporter. I'm not, a, I'm not making the representations. They are. They're the legislators. And they represent the vote will be by July 4th. By July 4th. That means you would get the first check in the month of July for the month of July. It's currently underway in a reconciliation process that only involves Democrats. A two-bill, two-step, two-month process currently underway. But you're going to hear more about that and Jalapal's demands and, her, and Jalapal's support later in this video. But boy, I got also some incredible exciting details about why, why legislators told the president on Friday they're going to put multiple stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus package. Yes, it's very exciting. It's coming up in the, later in this recording. But let me give you a preview of what's also coming up in the second half of this video. In the second half of this video, I go over fifth stimulus, which heats up this fall. September, a two bill. Two month, two step process, just like for stimulus. In def, in, instead of stimulus checks being added in, they're adding in reform. And they'll raise your benefits up if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, and Veterans benefits, and then apply a new benchmark. I'll explain that benchmark later in this video. Incredible great news that's just breaking now. So let's go back now to some big money because there's incredible great details of this big money available for you. I want you to get this money because it was dedicated for you under third stimulus. When third stimulus was passed, I said there would be $1,400 third stimulus checks for you, but the biggest payout would be this. And now the biggest payout's landing now, so go get it. It's anywhere from five dollars to $25,000 of rent, utilities, homeowners, mortgage help, and homeowners, utilities help, and also SNAP. So let's go over the details. I got a lot of money for you in this recording. I know it's an early morning, but I got a lot of money. So get that pen and paper ready. Put down that coffee and get that pen and paper ready because this 30-minute video has a lot of money throughout the entire video. Stay with me to the very end. All right. There's money available for you for rent, and it's about $5,000, four to six months of rent. So go get it. Where do you get it? Six locations. City Hall, City Housing Authority. County Hall, County Housing Authority. State Hall, State Housing Authority. Your words are gonna, that you're going to ask them are rent assistance because of COVID. Rent as assistance because of COVID. You do not say stimulus. They all have different guidelines and different uh, pots of money. So one may say no and another one may say yes. So go get it. About $5,000 for rent. Then there's money for utilities and homeowners uh, mortgage and homeowners utilities. So go get that as well. Thousands, thousands of dollars. Now let's turn to another success, success story. Every day viewer says, Help, thank you. I got SNAP by watching your show. I got food. I got rent because of watching your show. Let's turn to SNAP. This is incredible great news. And SNAP is money for food. How do you get it? Department of Agriculture. Reach out to Department of Agriculture or 211. Department of Agriculture will provide you the benefits you need for SNAP. And how much money they provide for SNAP? A lot. They're giving upwards of $16,000 a year for a family of four in Hawaii. Yes, yeah, seriously, $16,000 a year. Why so much? Because of two executive orders, one from Biden 
one from Trump that raise benefits up 15% from every for everyone all the way from now to December started in January so go get snap I mean look at how great we're doing we're 10 minutes of this video we got $16,000 for snap we got $5,000 for rent and i'm not just done yet oh boy but here is a couple of reality check moments starting right now first i want you to get this money for rent and utilities and homeowners assistance because it's first come first serve this is a purple hawk moment this is why i created the expression of purple hawk 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 you got to pounce as soon as the money goes live you can't wait for it to go live you have to get it as soon as it goes live also it's first come first serve so don't wait around because some the stimulus stampede will get the money before you do then the other big reality check is that this money is not coming back under forced stimulus. So there will be no more rent or rent assistance or uh, any type of assistance like this. And the eviction moratorium and mortgage forbearance, they're going away. So I don't want you to wait around for this money because it ain't coming back. All right, now let's get to some other free money. And we love free money coming from two places. Exciting news. First, from your state. How do you get it? Uh, and what is it? So let's go over what it is and how much it is, and then how you get it, and then when you get it. All right, first, what is this? It is thousands of dollars being returned back to you from your state. Why? Because the federal government identified states had paid you too much in unemployment benefits to no fault of your own due to a computer malfeasance at the state level. And then they reached out to citizens and said, return the money back to the state. And they did. Well, the federal government stepped in and said, that was a mistake. You should not have been ordered to return the money back. So the federal government has now ordered the states to return the money back to you. Incredible great news. How are you going to get the money? In the bank account that you have on file with your state's unemployment department. Automatically. Finally, when? It depends on the state. Every state has different routing times. So reach out to your state if you want to know the exact routing time. One viewer is waiting for $5,000. Incredible great news. Now let's turn to the second free money, and this is coming back from the federal government. IRS, Treasury. One viewer got $2,000 for this. First, what is it? Then how do you get it? And finally, when do you get it? What is it? It is money coming back that you paid on your tax return. If you had filed a 2020 tax return and paid taxes on your first $10,200 of unemployment benefits, you're getting back that amount of taxes that you paid on the unemployment. Here's an example. $9,000 of unemployment, 2020. Total tax bill you paid to IRS, $5,000, of which $4,000 is the taxes on unemployment benefits. You're getting back a check of $4,000. Congratulations. How are you going to get it? In the mail, that mailbox, that thing out on the corner, that old thing that you use, not email, mailbox. In the mailbox will be a beige or white envelope, and inside the white envelope will be a beige check. Department of Treasury, IRS, written to you. Subject line, refund. <laughs> and finally, when? Three phases. We're really finishing phase one right now. We're heading into phase two, and then there's a phase three. Let me go over when they when those phases kick in. Phase one is ending about now. Phase two started and it will end in the middle of next week, and then phase three, end of next week. All three phases are done by the end of May. So who's phase one? Single filers. No tech, no dependents, nothing complicated on the return, no refunds. Phase two, complicated returns for single individuals. And phase three is for joint filers like husband and wife incredible great news which brings us to the news that we all want to hear which is all of this i mean it's just it's just voluminous it's just so uh it's just so overwhelming there's not one not two but really almost four major breaking details about those reoccurring stimulus checks in the last few days. And I'm going to go chronologically from beginning to end. First, we have a Jalapal letter that is signed by dozens of House members saying call the vote right now. Then we have the comments by similar House members who had signed the multiple stimulus check bills originally calling for the vote right now. Then we have the surprising details of a letter written to the president by a key subcommittee saying they're going to put the multiple stimulus checks in there. And finally, we have the president signaling a counteroffer, which is really not a counteroffer, which basically means reconciliation is underway. Great news across the board. Let's go over each of these one at a time. First, in the end of this week, Jala Paul, again, the same person you saw who wrote the multiple stimulus check bill for the House, wrote a letter to, the pre to uh, Schumer and Pelosi saying, call the vote now. The letter is co-signed by dozens of House members who basically say, what are we waiting for for the Republicans for 
just finished the reconciliation. We're nearly finished drafting the, 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 the bills. Called for a vote and let's get done with it. What are we waiting around for? That was incredible great news. And it started with that letter. And the letters, signers are people who also have signed for, that have said they're going to put multiple stimulus checks in the, uh, the fourth stimulus package. Remember, they could put it in at the House level or they could put it in the Senate level during that two-day event called the Votorama. Then we got even more jaw-dropping great news, which is when uh, the seven members of one of the most critical House subcommittees wrote the president a letter on Friday saying, uh, we're going to put multiple stimulus checks in there. <laughs> yeah. Hi, uh, we're putting multiple stimulus checks in, in, in the bill. Remember, le senators and House members write the bill, not the president, but they're making very clear they're going to put it in there. Who are these seven people? They're the seven people who are on the committee that actually writes the stimulus part of the stimulus package bill. When we talk about stimulus checks or unemployment benefits or anything very clear with a stimulus check payment, whether it's unemployment or a stimulus check check, that is done by one committee and one committee only, the House Ways and Means Committee. So who wrote this letter to the president? Seven members of the House Ways and Means Committee. <laughs> it's Captain Obvious walking through the set. The people in charge of writing stimulus checks wrote the president saying they're putting multiple stimulus checks in there. I don't think you can see it any more clear than that. And then the president on Friday made his message clear as well, which is there is no bipartisan. We're doing reconciliation. The president has fielded offers from the Republicans since day one, and they have always been the same price tag, $500 billion. And the president's always said no deal. So what did the president do on Friday? To make it look like he's accommodating, he said, okay, I'll take out $600 billion from my proposal, which is actually more than the entire Republican counteroffer. I'll take out $600 billion of my proposal, and I'll put it somewhere else. But actually, it already was somewhere else in another bill, so I don't really need it here. It's double county. Uh, yeah, to which that is basically called a certain letter uh, and a U. <laughs> <laughs> which basically means I'm just I'm I'm not doing your deal and I'm not coming down a dollar like you're not coming up a dollar. We're going to reconciliation. So what is the president going to do? He has made very clear to his staffers and to legislators that he will have these lunches, literally, with Republicans every day up until Memorial Day weekend. And then he's stopping them and then the vote happens. And as one viewer said, Memorial Day weekend, that's September. No, that's Labor Day. Memorial Day weekend is, is the end of this month. And as another viewer said, he just loves the lunches. So he is going to have these lunches daily. Uh, well, maybe not the weekend, you know, then he'll go for brunch. <clears throat> but he'll have these lunches daily. Say, hi, and then counter offer now. Okay, see you tomorrow for lunch. Chicken, fish, I don't know. Uh, and then he'll continue to do that for purposes of optics so that they finally have done enough suggestion that they tried to reach compromise and got no compromise. And then away we go. And then finally, as if none of that was, was great enough already, then we had legislators come forward and speak about the subject matter. And they rarely speak about a bill when they're working on the bill. They don't tell you. They intentionally don't want you to know what they're doing. They keep it quiet. This time they're not. So it started with Kristen Gillibrand, a Democrat out of New York. And she said, she was asked, should you wait around for the Republicans? Absolutely not, she says, because we, need it, we will lose our Democrat coalition for human infrastructure. I don't think the White House should relegate recovery to, to the judgment of Mitch McConnell because McConnell will not function in good faith. And then came Ruben Galejo, Democrat out of Arizona. Republicans are not even being players and we should just move on without them referring to the Democrats, moving on with the reconciliation. And the representative Mark Pokins, Democrat of Wisconsin, says, at what point do Republicans seriously come to the table? <laughs> if Republicans don't come to the table, it doesn't mean Democrats don't serve the meal, which is the first stimulus. And then finally, we have Senator Majority Whip Dick Durbin who says, we ought to have a timely negotiation with the Republicans, but be prepared to finish with a reconciliation. Amen. And finally, Ro Khanna never makes it any clearer than he do, than, Ro, than Khanna does. Ro Khanna says, I think we should just move forward with our Democratic bill. Wow, that is just incredible. So there you go. But guess what? I got a surprise, unless you've heard the surprise on yesterday's Late Show. I have a surprise for you. It's something else that could be in the fourth stimulus package that no one saw this coming until Friday. 
and I'm just really shocked it's going to potentially happen. It's a fluid situation, but it's very, very, very exciting. Meantime, how do you get rent and food if you reach out to it and you can't find it? If you make the concerted effort to find the money for rent, food, internet, and things like that, and you cannot find it, reach out to the volunteers. They're viewers just like you. Where are they? They're on the community page. And where is the community page? It is in the description to this video. Open the description. You'll see an emoji of a house. Next to the emoji of the house, it says community page. Sends you to a web page, news.la.com forward slash community. It has a series of volunteers on there, viewers just like you, that can help you get this money. So reach out to them and they can help you. And guess what? I'll be back in 60 seconds with more exciting great news. Don't leave me. I'll be seeing you in about 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on early morning mornings, LA, with exciting great details about your fourth stimulus check and your fifth stimulus check. Good morning. This is early morning, LA. How's your Sunday doing? Hope your weather is good where you are. And thank you for tuning in. This is LA. 400,000 subscribers. Next stop, 1 million. A YouTube record in one year. So subscribe. Share these videos on Facebook, Reddit, Instagram to get people over here. Also, like this video. Two, 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member. Meantime, coming up next is Morning's Alight, and also airing at the same time of this show is our overnight live feed on crypto. Boy, really exciting, great news about Fifth Stimulus. Let's cut to it right now. That Fifth Stimulus heats up this fall with a two-step, two-bill, two-month process, just like Fourth Stimulus. And instead of adding in stimulus checks, they're adding in SSI reform. Let's go over it. It will increase your benefit limits, remove, add the asset limits, excuse me, remove the asset limit, then add an inflationary benchmark, then remove the marriage penalty and remove the income exclusion. There's a lot of breaking news about this detail, so let me go over it with you starting right now. First, let's understand whose benefits, yours. So if you're on veterans, if you're a veteran, or if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, SSA, survivor benefits, any of you, all your benefits will be raised up to a big new number these legislators represent. Then they're going to apply a new benchmark, and that benchmark is inflation. Now, let's slow it down. What is a benchmark, and how, does that, how is that important to us? A benchmark is what they do every December. They look at the benchmark, and they say, oh, the benchmark went up this amount, so your benefits will go up this amount next year. The new benchmark will be inflation. Now, a week ago, Jeremy Siegel said he thought that inflation could go up 20%. Then, a few days ago, we had one of the Fed heads out of Georgia saying, and I can tell the inflation rate, but the growth rate is going to go from about 4 to 10.5%. Wow. And then all the last two days, of Thursday and Friday of this last week, we had analysts all over Cost Broadcast News said the inflation is not going to be you know 2 to 3. It's going to be 4 to 7%. So this is incredible great news for you across the board because let's look at how this would happen. First, they would raise up your benefits under four stimulus. Then they would add a benchmark. Let's say the benchmark is 7%. They'd step you up another 7%. But it's not just for one year. It's lifetime because benefits never step down. They either step up or stay flat. So you would step up and then just remain flat. 
incredible great news. Then they're going to, what else is in the fifth stimulus? Then they're going to remove the asset limit, which is great because some of you cannot hold more than $3,000 on hand if you're on benefits. It's going to go away. It's an old 1980s law. Then they're going to get rid of a 1960s law that says you cannot work and also stay on benefits. So if you want to work, you can. $1,000, $2,000 a month to stay on benefits. Great news. And then finally, they're going to remove the marriage penalty. Thank goodness. The marriage penalty disqualifies you from benefits if you get married. And if you are married, you lost benefits. So finally, love is going to conquer it. You'll be able to marry your lifetime partner and not lose benefits. That's the end of the marriage penalty. Thank goodness. So when will this heat up? September to October, likely see your benefits in your account in November, and then the benchmark would be in January. So now let's circle back to forced stimulus and some other things that you need to know going into forced stimulus. First, it's important to understand that the month of July has a lot of stuff going on for purposes of bills, and I don't want you to hear another bill and get it confused with the forced stimulus package. So there is a budget bill they're also doing that's due in July. It's not this thing. Ron Wyden has a standalone bill. That is also not this thing. And there's a lot of other bills or cities that are floating around, standalone bills. Even even uh, even Jalapa has another bill floating around. I don't want you to see those other bills and get confused. Also, some of the money from third stimulus is being paid when the vote happens in July. For example, the third stimulus money for the children goes out in the month of July. Third stimulus. And so that's causing some confusion for some viewers who aren't really subscribers, where they say, well, the, I heard the only check we're getting in July is for the children. No, well, that's if the case, that's if you're referring to the third stimulus. Yeah, that's correct for third stimulus. The only check coming out in the month of July for third stimulus is for children. But we're not talking about third stimulus in this video, we're talking about fourth stimulus. So I know it can be very complicated, but guess what? I owe you a surprise. And here's the surprise. Those seven House Ways and Means Committee members who oversees stimulus checks and unemployment, also wrote in their letter to the president that they that he should extend unemployment benefits. <sighs> wow. <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I did not expect anyone to extend unemployment benefits. So can they do that? It's not very clear, and it's not very clear which unemployment benefits. It's a very fluid situation. I don't think FPUC would get done again. But PEUC, which gives additional weeks of UI, or PUA, which Ron Wyden has his own standalone bill for, certainly could be extended where the federal government picks up the price tag and it's not voluntary to the states. Of course, if it was voluntary, they could put in language to make it not voluntary. That would be sort of sneaky. Um, but this is a very fluid situation if they can get this in here. Remember, four stimulus checks, monthly stimulus checks, starting the month of July. And now unemployment may be coming back under forced stimulus, but rent and eviction moratorium and mortgage forbearance not coming back under forced stimulus, not coming back in forced stimulus. And finally, it's important to understand while Jalapal says get it done right now, get the vote done right now, the president's going to wait for the end of Memorial Day weekend to then simply start the voting process. They've been working on the bills and they've been working on the regis legislation. And what's important to understand is that these stories are going are, are, are front page on broadcast media. So these are not buried stories anymore. The president's getting bombarded by Jalapal's bill, the reminder of Jalapal's bill, the signatures and four supporters of Jalapal's bill, and all these letters. And every time there's seven people that co-sign the letter, 20 people or 100 people, it's all getting picked up in broadcast media. So it is now becoming front page news because remember, every time that stimulus checks is front page news, it's good for you. Rather front page than back page. And with that, thank you for joining me on a big morning, early morning's broadcast. I hope you've had a wonderful early morning. And I hope you join me at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 12 noon for Mornings LA. It's then followed by Mornings Crypto. Meantime, right while the show is airing, right after this, you're done with this show, jump into the live chat. It's a live chat on Overnight Crypto here on this channel. It's a 12-hour show. Uh, you're going to love it. Uh, and it's all the Purple Power family is in there on new faces and just a lot of fun. So subscribe. I want you part of this channel. Get this channel to grow to 1 million subscribers, 400,000 one year. Next stop is 1 million. Also, like this video. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 likes. Let's do it. And consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Always stay positive. Always stay motivated. Always stay focused because we're, n we're never negative and we're always focused on the finish line. Stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful morning. The toast is toasting. The butter is buttering. The coffee is brewing. 
If only the bacon was here. Have a beautiful morning, and I'll see you later as Mornings LA heats up at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 noon. Have a beautiful morning. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA. Food.